Our baby has a temperature. Okay, he's warm. We need to call a doctor right now. Ethan, don't you dare. He doesn't need one. Why are you reacting like this? If you were sick, you'd call a doctor, period. I'm not going to take chances with my son's health here. Don't tell me what our son needs. I'm his mother. Gwen, feel him. He's hot. I am his mother, OK? I know better than anyone else what Jonathan needs. And he does not need a doctor. I'm the child's father. Yep, and I'm his mother. I know you're the mother, but what has gotten into you? The, the child has a fever. Ethan, he doesn't have a fever. He just feels a little warm. You call it warm. I call it a fever. If okay. there's any doubt, we should still take him to a doctor, Gwen. Okay, if he has a fever, if he has a fever, I mean, it's really mild. I, I don't know about that. Then I... all he needs is a nice, tepid bath. It'll help bring the fever down. Won't you, sweetheart? Then you'll feel all better. We do not need to call Eve Russell, you know, this time of night, okay? Okay, all right, look, maybe I overreacted. I didn't mean to question your parenting skills, Gwen. It's okay. Let's just get this little guy into a nice tepid bath, and we can even use all those fun new bath toys your mama got for you, okay? It's gonna be so fun, so fun. Let's go, let's go, sweet pea. You know, if we do half as good a job, of raising you as Pilar did with her kids, you're gonna be very lucky. She was great, you know. I know. But it wasn't, it wasn't just love. It was the fact that she never pressured her kids to be great at school or anything. She just, she just instilled a sense of confidence in them. I think that's the most important thing. Let's see if I can find out some details about Pilar's secret. Do you know when Pilar came to this country? I don't know. I don't even know if she met Martin here or in Mexico. And what about that? Was there anyone before Martin? Any past loves? Any crazy stories? <laughs> Pilar? Yeah. No, she's... What you see is what you get with Pilar. She's just an American success story, that's all. Oh, yeah, Ethan, she really hit it big. She became a maid. Yeah. Why would you say that? Yes, she was a maid, but that's that's something your mother would say, Gwen. Sorry. I mean, we're all immigrants, if you think about it. Pilar came over here with nothing but the clothes on her back, and she worked hard. She paid her bills. She took care of her family. If that's not an American success story, I don't know what is. No argument here. Nothing but admiration for that woman. If you knew what I knew, you might want to rethink that statement. So does Pilar still have a lot of family in Mexico? <laughs> what is with all these questions about Pilar all of a sudden? Well, I'm just, I'm just curious. I'm just interested. I don't know. I mean, I know there's her sister. She's the woman who brought up Paloma. But other than that, I don't know anyone. When she was helping to bring you up, do you ever remember her going back to Mexico at all to visit family or friends? Well, what's funny is she didn't. She didn't help bring me up. I mean, she had a lot to do with my upbringing. We all know my mom wasn't the greatest at the day-to-day -day motherly activities, you know. She was always at charity events or dinners, and well, Julian, he was on business trips or looking for the next bottle of scotch to consume. But I could always count on Pilar. It must have been really nice to have a maid like that. She was so much more than that. Perfect example, when I was eight years old, I was headed towards this uh, country club ski trip Meh. or something, and uh, I had forgotten my bag, had all my clothes in it, and all my, all my stuff. And I called the mansion to see if someone could bring it. You know who brought it? Not my mom, not Julian, Pilar. She came up on the bus, gave me my bag, put some cookies in there for me. She is, she is literally one of the best people I know. Something happened with Pilar in Mexico. I wish I knew all the details, but whatever it was, it was bad. I don't think Pilar is the saint you think she is. Well, sounds like Pilar is as close to perfect as you can find. She and Mother Teresa are pretty close, Gwen, but uh, honestly, she, out of all the people that I've known in my life, is probably one of the most truthful. She's as transparent as a glass of water.
You don't think there's any way Pilar could have a deep, dark secret? Pilar? Yeah. No. No way. She probably doesn't even know how to keep a secret, Gwen. Pilar has a huge secret, Ethan. A deadly one. And that secret will guarantee you and I will always be together.